Well, Cheryl, that's right. That's what you get on this report. Anyway, you had actually two debates of the voters here at the Ponce de Leon Library, who are early voting now, had actually been paying attention and looked closely online. They would have been able to watch a couple of debates for the two races that are on the statewide ballot. One of them is for the a seat on the Public Service Commission. I want to continue my role as consumer watchdog on the commission. Chuck Eaton is the Republican who has been on the PSC for nearly 12 years. We have the third highest energy bills in the country. The Democrat opposing him, Lindy Miller, claims Eaton has become a tool of the state's utilities, including Georgia Power, the driving force behind the costly construction of nuclear plant Vogel. Why do you think they want you reelected so you, badly? Time. Miller says utilities are spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to help Eaton win re-election. I've been out greatly in this election, so to complain about it now at this juncture just seems to be the height of hypocrisy. Eaton dismissed the question and attacked the argument that energy bills are too high. We live in a very hot and humid climate. I can't control well, the fact that people like to use their air conditioners, and I wouldn't propose to do that. Eaton sort of suggested that Miller might want to regulate how Georgians can actually use their thermostats, which is something that uh, Miller just laughed off. There was another debate also today. It was in the Secretary of State's race, and in that debate, one candidate did not show up. Uh, we will show you what happened tonight on 11 Alive News at 6, live in Northeast Atlanta, Doug Richards, 11.